Hello and welcome back! Last time we looked into her bags, that was completely boring. Today we're looking at 1000 oysters. Now this is all of the stuff I got while fishing for the 1000 oysters. Now I will sell everything and really just do a price check. So from all of the stuff you can expect to get over one platinum. This is really good and not even calculating the fish. With the fish combined it's over two platinum easily. Now I will quickly open up all of the oysters. So the oysters uh, have a chance to give you pearls. There's white pearls, black and pink pearls. Each of the pearls are used to make luck potions. So after selling all of the shucked oysters I have over 3.3 platinum. That's really nice. And I'm not going to sell the pearls but I will make a hard stat of how much time you can expect if you're making luck potions. So that should pop up on your screen now. Now for the crates. I fished over 200 wooden crates, over 100 iron crates and 36 gold and 34 oasis crates because that's where you fish for oysters. I will quickly open up each of the crate and will sell off just, just the item. The, uh, so after selling everything I didn't need I'm now up to 8.6 platinum. Never mind I'm up to 12.2 12.2 platinum. So really for money fishing is decent and decently AFK if you're doing it in windowed mode while watching Futurama or something. Now these are all the metal bars and potions you might you can expect. What I meant to say that potions from crates are really random and you might get something similar that I got or absolutely differently differently. I also got four best statues that increases defense by five. This, this, These things come from oasis crates and they are really really good in master mode especially. Now quickly I want to touch over the bait. I've used, now this is a hard stat that I, that I personally was interested. I've used 592 worms uh, that has 25 percent bait power and 250 enchanted worms, uh, enchanted night crawlers that have 30, 35 bait power. Now I will add this up as bait points. I think it's not correct to count like that but nah. So out of the worms I've used 148 bait points, bait points and from the enchanted worms 87.5 bait points. Now from all of the bait, uh, the bait I've got from the crates, the apprentice bait, the journeyman bait and the <coughs> master bait, I've got 116 apprentice, 205 journey and 219 master bait. That's actually really decent but it's still not enough to cover the cost I've used to fish all of these. I've lost 235.5 bait points and I've got from the uh, all of the crates combined 188.4 so that's a net loss of 44.1 bait point. With my fishing power that was around 80 to 130 depending on the day and the weather uh, you cannot expect to get your bait back just from fishing crates, which is kind of sad, but getting bait isn't that hard. Really, you just see ladybugs flying around, just swoop them up. You see fireflies flying around, you just swoop them up. And that's it. Uh, so, fishing oysters for money? Yes. AFK? Yes. Is it worth it? If you're watching a show or something and AFKing in the background, yes. Uh, is it worth doing in pre-hard mode? Not, not really. Honestly, not really. Wait for hard mode. I might do this on hard mode, but eh. Oh, and also luck potions. Are luck potions worth it? 
I I honestly do not know. Um, that's a that's a long time of uh, the luck status effect. But what what I've read it, it's like rare creatures, rare spawns. It's nothing really too good. And with that, thanks for watching. Uh, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. If it helped you out, post a comment. That's actually really the first time I actually said that. It it's, it kind of feels weird, but. Until next time, I'll see ya! So I'm just watching the end screen right now and thinking to myself, man, should I continue this? Because I don't know what's up, but for the past week, well, the past week was kind of war zone and sleep and work. I don't know if I should carry on doing this. Like I have a set goal for like like a personal goal and it's not it's kind of getting getting better but at the same time it's just way too much work for let's say improving yourself and I'm not sure. Post in a comment. The game's good and it has really a huge sentimental value but i don't know i don't know man <laughs> help me out please